welcome back to my YouTube channel Karibu Fine Art and I am Priya, the artist behind KaribuFineArt.com. Today I would like to uh, start with thanking you all for the tremendous support and response you have given me so far. I have reached the um, benchmark of that 100 subscribers so I have surpassed that one and which is a big milestone personally for me and I would uh, really appreciate your comments and feedbacks for all my videos and uh, please share all the videos and like them if you enjoy uh, them and do not forget to subscribe. So um, for today's tutorial, uh, I, have, well, I have this uh, Indian Bison uh, colored pencil sketch for you and I have used Faber-Castell Polychromos, uh, Karen D. Uh, Ash Luminance and my Prisma color color pencils. All the three sets I have got uh, to put this together uh, and I have used this uh, uh, Durbin Drawing Chinese white pencil, 7200 pencil for uh, the highlight portions of it. And uh, I use paint thinner and a couple of filbert soft brushes, uh, the papillon brushes uh, by Artist Club to put this together. I have put all the material I have used in the description below. Um, for the stenciled pattern, I have used a couple of stencils and uh, a Winsor & Newton um, pigment marker, just a black one. And for the background uh, also I have used the same color pencils which I mentioned before. Uh, I'm going to have a future video in which I'm going to discuss all the color pencil supply I have because it's a lot because I have the uh, sharpener, the sharpener I use, the erasers I use, then the paint thinner I use. Um, the paper I have used for this one is uh, Fabriano Artistico Hot Pressed 140 pounds uh, watercolor paper uh, and all of the supply we can discuss uh, very much in detail in future uh, videos uh, and uh, the reference photo I have got is uh, from one of my brother's uh, wildlife photography collection. Uh, it's an Indian bison clicked in India and uh, when I looked at this picture I just uh, couldn't resist but uh, start working on this piece because I loved the way uh, the photo was taken, uh, the background and uh, the colors, uh, the black fur of this bison uh, was reflecting. I just loved the whole thing so I wanted to put it together. It can be my new favorite animal. Um, maybe I have switched from leopard to this Indian bison. It's that beautiful. That's what I thought when I looked at it. And the background actually, unfortunately, I got so frustrated with my initial layers um, of background that I decided not to record the footage for it. So today I just have the footage for this Indian bison. And from uh, now on, uh, I have realized my mistake and I should just record everything because I struggled a lot with the background, but uh, at the end of it, I achieved what I wanted to. So I should have recorded it for you guys. Um, one more future tutorial we are going to have is uh, using Liquitex basic spray paint uh, for getting the stenciled background I have for the acrylic paintings I do. Uh, because the thing is, um, the airbrush kits, which usually the professional artists use for the stenciled background it's amazing for detailed blurry background so it's a little bit irony but some artists do detailed blurry background using airbrush kits which are pretty expensive um, so they are really good for that but for just the basic acrylic stenciled background you necessarily don't need the whole kit so you can just buy the ten dollar um, acrylic spray paint and the stencils and I can show you how you can create those kind of stenciled patterns so that will be one of the one of the future upcoming videos which we are going to have so guys if uh, you uh, like my videos please do not um, forget to subscribe it's absolutely for free and now let's get back to the tutorial I have started with putting together the basic sketch using a graphite paper, uh, actually carbon paper and a tracing paper. So I have transferred this drawing onto the Fabriano Artistico hot pressed 140 pound uh, watercolor paper. And after the drawing is uh, done, I have used this Faber-Castell Polychromos uh, black color pencil to define the black areas better and to define the shapes, some of the shapes around the ear and the mouth portion better. So most of the <clears throat> pencils which I'm using the most are this uh, black Faber-Castell Polychromos and then there is a purple shade, dark purple shade of uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos again. So I'm switching back and forth between these two and then I'm using a couple of uh, uh, shades of uh, burnt 
अंबा कलर ब्राउन शेड्स most of the initial layers uh, i have done using my faber castell polychromos because these are oil based pencils and uh, uh, i prefer them to put initial layers and then i use paint thinner um because the remaining two brands i have is prisma colors and karen de ash luminance both of these brands are uh, wax based pencils so they are really good for the uh, uh, layers which will come on the top uh, for the highlights and all those kind of details but for the initial layers because faber castell polychromos are oil based and they have a very a nice vibrancy to it the colors are really rich um and very vibrant so i prefer using them uh, before uh, any of my other brands once i block down the initial 2 to 3 3 to 4 layers actually after that i uh, use a brush papillon um by the artist club filbert brush number 3 and i use it with paint thinner uh, and just blend the whole thing together carefully you just have to make sure that you have enough layers on the paper so as to uh, get really good blending effects otherwise uh, the blending won't uh, um, blending won't work uh, with two or three layers you need at least like more than 3 layers uh, so as to blend all the colors together for this crown portion uh, the head portion of the this bison uh, most of the shades i have used is um, are brown shades and uh, uh, black uh, color pencil which is the faber castell polychromos color pencil uh, i was just trying to block the darks and lights at that point because i'm going to go over to define darks much better on that area and then also going to go over my uh, um, durbin drawing chinese white 7200 pencil for the highlights on the head for most of the portions on the body i have uh, applied very very light hand uh, for all the areas because i don't i never wanted to go wrong with the uh, with the direction of the fur because somewhere the fur is really long and in some portions it's pretty uh, short so i just wanted to get all that really right uh, and blocked in so as to really press hard on the uh, up, like the next layers after i put uh, almost 3 to 4 layers on this uh, neck portion uh, and the body portion of the bison then i again go back uh, uh, on the whole drawing with the uh, paint thinner odorless paint thinner and the brush you have to pay really close attention to your reference photos um uh, whenever you uh, are trying to achieve realism um because you ha it's not like exact exact copy you can't draw one strand at a time you have to draw chunks of strands and chunks of uh, fur but still you have to be very uh, very accurate with the reference photo or where the muscular structure is uh, exactly where the direction of fur, fur is because if your direction of fur goes wrong um, it can end up uh, resulting in uh, bison looking really thin or not very healthy bison uh, so you have to make sure that your directions of direction of fur is very very accurate uh, so as to give the muscular structure uh, accuracy you can see i'm not just using one uh, shade of the color i'm trying to uh, use multiple colors together i'm just mixing uh, magenta in between i'm using 3 to 4 shades of purple whatever i have got all of these initial layers uh, i have done it with my faber castell polychromos pencils Now I'm going over the areas which require a little bit more contrast and the um, like its nose portion 
and the mouth portion which was pretty important to give it realistic look I love the way uh, in the reference picture uh, the bison was reflecting different colors different shades of purples and blues and oranges um, because of the fur being black so black color reflects a lot of other colors uh, I really liked that in the reference photo and that's why I decided to uh, use it for my artwork Now I'm just going through the darker portions more and more, defining the shadowed areas much better and the areas which are really, really dark black. Whenever I see that uh, there has been something uh, which is not 100% correct uh, as per my, um, like according to me, uh, then I'll just use my mono tumbler eraser to erase that much of portion and then rework on those areas. Some of the areas I can still lift off the color uh, even if I have gone through the uh, paint thinner layers on it. The end result I achieved with the horns and the ears I was really impressed with the results I got because uh, I wasn't expecting it to look that well uh, with colored pencils because it has been a little tr tricky journey for me with colored pencils. I usually don't achieve whatever I think before starting any project. And at the end of it, I'm happy with the results, but not uh, completely. Uh, because I uh, always um, end up blaming the colored pencils and the limitations it comes with. But I don't think that is the issue with the use of color pencils. The main thing is it's layers and uh, you shouldn't press too hard when you are uh, putting to, uh, putting something together using colored pencils. You have to apply really light layers so that you don't flatten the paper. If you flatten the paper completely in your initial couple of layers, you can't put more layers on the top of it. And it's um, one more thing which is very, very noticeable and important uh, which I found with colored pencils is you need to have one set of oil based and one set of uh, uh, wax based color pencils because uh, after certain point oil based color pencils just don't uh, take just don't take more color on top of it so now you can see I have already switched back uh, in between I'm using this uh, uh, Karen de Ash luminance uh, colored pencils because these pencils are wax based and they are really go very well on top of the Faber Castell polychromos I have got so to get that really nice contrast, very, very vibrant colors and good highlights, defined highlights, uh, I definitely recommend having uh, some of the lighter shades of this either Karen de Ash Luminance or uh, Prisma colors. In future, we are going to have a very detailed uh, video uh, explaining all the material and supply I used for my colored pencil drawings. Um, for today's background, I didn't get the footage uh, footage for you guys, um, which I apologize for. From next time, I'll make sure I just record the whole footage and share it with you. And we are going to see more and more such tutorials in future, guys. So please come and check it out again uh, every Thursday. And uh, please share all of my videos with the, the people who are interested in such kind of stuff and like the videos if, if you have enjoyed watching it and you have learned something new out of it and uh, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to bring more and more such interesting stuff to you guys see you soon on next Thursday